right, let's jump back one year. This was last year, around January, and as you will see, uh, that rocket launch didn't go that well. Well, this was very embarrassing. Um, basically, our rocket launch didn't go as planned because I disregarded some very important aerodynamic principles. Basically, what I wanted to do is to show my little sister how a rocket could be launched. Now, as you saw, the first attempt miserably failed. So uh, we tried it two more times, but this time took off part of the um, front to shift the center of gravity even further backwards. Now, this was a quick decision. I didn't really think much, but it made things worse, as you will see. Boys, nice job! That's Happy New Year in German, by the way. Now, you will notice that this thing starts to spin really fast, and it's even faster than the first one. It's aerodynamically really unstable. And so, as I said, we tried it a third time. This time we said Happy New Year in Russian. <laughs> or Ukrainian, since we had two Ukrainians with us. And then, um, basically, I was really frustrated. And we gave up, I had three more shots left. And this year, around the same time of the year, New Year, uh, I tried it again, but I stepped up the game. So I designed this rocket here, it's called the Baby Rocket, or Rocket for sure. So uh, this is the complete rocket, and you can see those three fins here, they are angled with five degrees, so this thing is spin stabilized. And we also have a compartment for some electronics up there, so we can actually measure how high our rocket will fly. All right, uh, what did I do different this time? Basically, I tried to put the center of gravity uh, in front of the center, the aerodynamic center, where all the forces are coming together. And we will see if this works, but in principle, this should fly much better. More explanation on this uh, at the end of the video. So everything that's left to do is to print it, to build it up, to solder the electronics together, uh, program this controller down there, and then it was basically ready to fly. Well, here it is, my new super small rocket. This is a two euro coin. And you can see it's, it's almost the diameter of this coin. Um, the rocket motor is down here and I'm expecting it to go at least 50 meters high, maybe 100. Okay, we are preparing the rocket to take off. This is our little flight computer, uh, Teensy 4.1 and a little uh, sensor board. This will now go into the rocket, then we have the this thing, and then we can light it up and send it to the stars. Okay, here we go. All right, um, so what we'll do is connect this. Oh, it's cold. Okay, connect this little thing here. It's logging the data. Now we slide this little thing in here, nice and cozy. Kind of nice. There's some Velcro in there. Okay, now we can close this hatch and seal it. And we go! Well, and then finally I got it to actually light up and set it off. Now standing there seeing this rocket actually take off uh, in such a straight line, this was awesome to see. Now the challenge was to find the pieces left over. One was coming down right now. <laughs> the issue, basically my connection wasn't strong enough. You can see here that it has torn out this little piece um, of string I tied on here. And so now we need to search the other part. What do you think? It's cold. 
<laughs> okay, let's search, search it. We spent at least 10 minutes to search for this rocket and it was kind of frustrating. Okay, I think my dear wife has found it. <laughs> Can you show it? Without the whatever you call it. Electronics still, are still in there. Is it still recording? Oh yeah, I think so. The light's on. See it? Is it still blinking? It's not blinking, but the green light is on. Yeah, it is blinking. It's still blinking. Thank you. Okay, two lessons learned. Don't make it black, make it some signal colors and attach it with a proper string of this little tiny thing. Awesome. I think, how far did we go? I think it was 150 meters. What do you think? 300 meters. 300? It was pretty, I couldn't see it anymore. So uh, I wrote this little program with which I can see uh, what the data log did so uh, the data file here and then we run this this is a Jupyter notebook and then we have a height of I got it working and the total height was 250 meters hey, I don't, I was I don't closer. think I don't think it's legal um, Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I am very happy. And then you can see the spinning here. Basically in the beginning, uh, the gyroscope Y, it just peeks out because this thing is just going crazy. Anyways, I have to look at it in detail, but this is, this is pretty awesome. If you would like to build your own rocket, I have linked the um, GitHub project below and basically here you find all the details about what components were used and so on. So much fun with that. Okay, so this is um, the decode logs under this re repository and then data logging. Um, <clears throat> decode logs, Jupyter notebook and here basically it loads in all the, <clears throat> the data that are logged. Um, it's, they are stored in a binary format so you need to decode them. And then um, I did some more calculations and would just like to present those to you. So we have um, almost a height of 250, almost exact 250 meters, which is really cool. And um, <clears throat> then I computed the velocity and I smoothed those readings a little bit and divided them by the time uh, which the readings were uh, done in. And then you can see here, this is the velocity over the time that uh, the velocity peaked right after the launch um, at around two, 140 uh, meters per second. So this is almost 500 kilometers an hour, which is really, really fast. I don't know how many miles per hour this is, but probably 350 or something uh, or 300. Um, anyways, really cool. <clears throat> the acceleration here. Again, this is the double derivative, so I don't know how accurate this can be. The accelerometer was peaking out, so I don't have any readings from here, but this is from the barometer, and we get a peak acceleration of almost 1,000, so 100 G um, of force on this rocket. And then I did some energy comparisons. Anyways, <laughs> it doesn't doesn't really matter but I think the velocity almost 500 kilometers an hour is, is quite cool okay I hope you enjoyed this little video and see you next time would be really honored if you would share this video or subscribe or post a comment thank you bye bye all right I promised you to explain the aerodynamics or flight dynamics in more detail so let's uh, think again of this rocket here and both the body and also the fins create a side force or lift and so the center of this lift is this little red dot here and now um, if we have a wind gust from the side here in blue then this uh, rocket will experience a force, a total force um, like this red arrow in the aerodynamic center. 
Now, if the center of gravity is lying behind this aerodynamic center, as I indicate here, then we have an instable rocket. Basically, um, because the aerodynamic center is in front of the center of gravity, this whole rocket will shift or rotate to the right. And this is a problem because then it's, it's basically unstable. Now, if the center of gravity is in the front, then we have a stable uh, rocket because it will uh, rotate into the wind and reject all those outside disturbances. That's why it's helpful to add some weight actually to the front of the rocket. Okay, I hope you learned something. Again, thank you very much for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye.